I can't conceive of anything we could have done with our lives that would have had more meaning to it. The former millionaire gave away his fortune to build for God. The challenge is this, to end poverty housing. Habitat for Humanity is a catchy phrase. Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity. The mandate that we feel from God is to make it possible for everybody to have a decent place to sleep. I was in law school at the University of Alabama, and I was very engaged in a number of business enterprises with a business partner, Morris Dees. Well, Millard and I dated all during my senior year of high school. Millard never proposed to me. He told me I was going to marry him. In fact, he said, I'm going to be a millionaire someday, and you're going to marry me. And I thought, OK. <laughs> She didn't object, and uh, so we set a date and got married in 1959 in August. At the beginning of our life, Linda and I had a good relationship. Linda became pregnant soon after we were married, and, and our first child, Chris, was born. Then we moved down to Montgomery, Alabama, the capital city. My business partner, Morris Dees, and I opened up a law practice, and we were just focused on making all of the money that we could so that we could become rich. Mellard was very engaged in law practice and the business, and of course, I was a full-time student, and we had a, a baby at home. From the time we got up in the morning to the time we went to bed, it was just work, work, work. The business was growing. Every day, the success was just tumbling over itself. Here on uh, March 12, 1961, I wrote uh, in my journal, my prediction is that toothbrushes will be the gimmick by which our sales will exceed one million in 1963. I am hereby dedicating myself to this magic million. And everything that we touched, almost all of it, was a success. I'll never forget that one day the treasurer of our company came walking into my office and said, congratulations, you are a millionaire. The revelation came to me that what we should do is, is divest ourselves of our wealth, give our money away, and throw ourselves on God's mercy and ask him to guide us into a life of Christian service. When I saw that he was willing to give it up, I thought, oh, <laughs> that's great. Let's do it. I was in touch with my business partner, Morris Dees, and I told him that I wanted to give all the money away. We gave grants to missionary work, to churches. I thought my first order of business should be to reconcile with my family. So we spent two weeks just riding around in Florida, going to all the tourist sites and just being together. That was really the first quality family time we'd ever had with the kids. And as God would have it, on the way back, we stopped to see friends at a Christian community in Georgia, Koinonia Farm. At Koinonia, we learned that many people were living in that Southwest Georgia area in houses with no insulation, houses with typically an outdoor toilet, poor living. Here was a need that was not being fulfilled by anyone. Linda and I felt that this was God's calling for us. That was the genesis of building the very first houses. We stayed there and worked at Cornelia for nearly five years, building these modest houses. You can imagine a family moving out of a shack into a house having all the basic needs. We saw it making such a difference. I began to realize that we were on to something that maybe we ought to create an organization to expand this all over the earth. And so in the spring of 1977, we opened up our first office of Habitat for Humanity. I can't conceive of anything we could have done with our lives that would have had more meaning to it. You can see there's a big smile on my face because I'm happy this family has a good house. New Habitat for Humanity houses are going up about one every 23 minutes. Through the years, we've grown closer and closer. 
to the point now where I think we're probably one of the most blessed couples in the world. The greatest moment is when I sit on the edge of my bed and Linda sits down beside me and says, I love you. sat there and wept. It brought more emotion to me than I thought it would. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be that good. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. 
right. It was a powerful moment. And it renews our determination to use the rest of our lives to continue to be a blessing because we don't feel that God is through with us yet.